Together We Grow at Home um, was conceived as a project in direct response to uh, the COVID crisis. It was at that point we thought, right, well, who is going to struggle and who is going to be suffering at this time? We felt we needed to bolster sort of the well-being of some sections of society that perhaps we could catch. So we sent out seed packs, compost, and instructional videos. We ensured that every week there was a kind of a well-being check-in, just discussed about how people were. But more and more importantly, as things started to grow, people really wanted to show their gardens and their window sills. Together We Grow means an awful lot to our members. We sort of linked up with Together We Grow uh, as a response to the COVID lockdown. We had funding, had the need to give people something to do outdoors. And we set about um, putting in a, an application to do some emergency COVID response work. And that was working with individuals that were already isolated through various different reasons, um, particularly with our refugee communities, of course, uh, who are isolated by nature of being in a country that they don't particularly know, without sort of family and friends support groups. I've been here for a couple of months on this project. Well, actually, I've been helping to repair the polytunnel doors, which I think yeah, is a very good job for me because I'm in the building trade. I love doing my little craft works and getting things fixed. This programme wouldn't have happened without the support of the co-op. We did a co-op live Food Matters panel, which has really enabled us to get sort of our name out there a little bit. The work that we do outdoors, outdoor education, outdoor well-being, food sovereignty, things like this, are really being spoken about much more post-Covid. People have realised with the lockdown that we have had to create our own fun and our own engagement and our own entertainment. And I hope that, I hope that continues.